shadowing you uh, along the sides of the roads. See, see, should I just knock her out immediately? She just summoned. <laughs> that's, that's her summoning spell. <laughs> Come to me, child. Come to me, demons. Protect me. You can, you can attach the little girl to your arm and then just. It's a, it's a little sister. <laughs> <laughs> that would be heinous. Ooh, That'd be horrible. What an idea. What an idea. Um, I've already discussed attaching her to my armor. Yeah, this just got awesome. <laughs> All oh, right, no. so I think what we're going to do here is uh, we are going to go straight into initiative. Because huh. uh, you guys, are, these, these people that are tracing you are obviously not um, particularly well akin to stealth. Um, whereas Actually, two of your group are... Um, so as they think they're about to ambush you, you actually guys are ready. So we're going to just go straight into, intel uh, um, into, uh, initiative as, uh, you guys are bum rushed by, uh, six people in very dark clothing, appear to be, um, bandity type affair. Woo! Ghetto crit. One, two, three, four, five, six. That brings me to 10, 11, 12, 14, 18. What did you guys roll? 21. Okay, so you guys are going first. <laughs> yes! Spear sweetie, sweetie, coming for that booty. <laughs> sweetie, oh. sweetie. A spear one in the face. Alrighty, so what well, uh, uh, rules state that you guys can go in whatever order you feel like? Is there anything you guys want to do? Uh, I'd, I would love some context, like an arrangement of persons. Absolutely. Um, let me really let me grab this little area up in the corner here. I'm going to separate this off so you guys can see. I want to bring in my character sh image for yeah, I don't your guys. Really yeah, I forget how to do that, unfortunately. This is the road you guys are traveling on, right? Yep. You are in a formation of however you want to be in the middle of this road. You guys are basically here. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And they are coming over this kind of uh, ridge on the side of the road. It looks like a fairly decent, if amateur, ambush spot. They're basically jumping over the road. A um, couple of them have swords, so basically uh, these guys here have swords, these guys here have triguns. And they are coming at you. So you guys get to go first, though. Alright, I'm just going to... Ooh. Ooh. Flamethrower yes. as it currently stands as it fires in a cone. Flamethrowers <laughs> and uh, uh, shotguns, you can cover about two in any one time. Uh, as long as they're on the same side. You can't cover all three. Oh, God. I'm thinking. <laughs> yes. Oh no. What they're shouting at you. <laughs> it's like fighting Borderlands psychos. It's awesome. <laughs> they're not uh. actually they're not actually shouting that at you, but uh, you get the impression that they're not very well trained. They might be biting off a little bit more than they can chew. You don't say. I'll take the three on the left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I believe in you. Hold on. Oh. Uh, Cody. Hold on. I, I saw. It's... I... I won't be able to answer that right now. Because I'm uh -huh. thinking of how to do something ridiculously awesome. <laughs> okay, well... Because... I want to do this fun style. Oh, perfect. This makes it even better. This makes it even... Alright, I'm going to throw my spear at one of them. Okay. Uh, tell me which one. Give me... 
Uh, if we're gonna do, if, if we're says... doing it, so like we'll, I'll, I'll put numbers on them quickly. So uh, this one's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Tell me which one you're going for. <laughs> All right, so I'm chucking my spear at six. Okay. And that is going to be ballistics plus agility. <laughs> All right. That is going to... He gets to try and dodge this. Yay! Which try. is going to be his Probably agility did. plus his dodge, which is going to be... Uno. All right. So, uh, he gets a spear in the neck. So Yes! <laughs> roll your damage. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm uh, going to charge bite him. <laughs> I'm going to bite the other side of his neck. Okay, go for it. Um, so, I'm so gonna, I'm going to write down some, <clears throat> some numbers here. So I'm charging, move at least two squares up to maximum stride. So up to three, a straight line attack. I get a plus two to the melee or hand-to-hand -hand attack roll. Since bite is a natural weapon, it's under hand-to-hand. -hand. As goofy and as I, that sounds. Yes. <laughs> And I get the plus two. Awesome. Alrighty. So, yes, roll them. that's another one. Ten plus one. four. Plus two. Damn it. GG. GG, no. So, uh, yeah, he is going to do the same thing. And is going to fail horrifically. So you nom on this guy. And now I'm bite, like eating him. Okay. Like, I'm not Same. just, like, biting to hurt, I'm eating. I'm You're, like, I'm now, devouring. Now, now. Yes, this is... Okay. My jaw is unhinged, and I have, like, his shoulder in my mouth. Okay. So, oh, he's, he's taken a bit of damage, but he's not as injured as you would probably like. He's got some fairly thick leather clothing on, so he's got a reasonable DR. Tasty. Okay. <laughs> So you're kind of you were trying to get through the crispy outer shell. Whoops. To get Sorry, to the meat. Didn't yeah, he's, that up he's, there. he's a he he's looking incredibly upset the fact that an ellipse is currently nomming on him. So yeah. uh, next up, so let's go for who else? Uh, who else wants to go now? Uh, let's see if I can do this. It's not what I wanted. Ah oh, man. Sorry if this image takes over oh. part of the picture. Oh, that's fine. Oh, is that your guy? Yeah, oh, could you, you could you show the uh, bring the others or link the others so that we can get ours in? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me just get mine shrunk down. Yeah, because I can't interact with it, so you can just give me the link. Yeah, I'll, I'll... I'm, I'm not really I'm not really doing it to scale on the on the. Um, on the squares, by the way, so... Yeah, okay. okay. I'll share all of your respective images with you guys. Let's see. So we have the rekindled... Alright, Conrad, go! Kill the thing! The Kill the thing? Kill, Kill a the thing. thing! Kill a thing. And the drone. Okay. Uh, let's see. Kill a thing. Well, you've got... You've got a... Uh... You've got some lovely magic to throw about, right? Oh, I do. I know. I was just trying to decide how much and at who. Do it. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the arc. Oh, man. The more I look at this, the more I'm like, man, this is not balanced. <laughs> <laughs> what, for uh, Arcana? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I kind of made the... the uh, Hold on a second. Primal Thirge, a bit Let me double check. Yeah. It, did you hand me six points in Primal Thirgy? Uh, no, three. You've got three points of Primal Thirgy. And then, because it was two from your talents, and then you get one for being uh, rekindled. So six. So you get six points of um, mm -hmm. overcast before you start. That's six points of overcast, but you can only do three points before you start. 
going into overcast. So you can do what three yeah. point three spell power yeah. spells. Yeah, mm-hmm. three spell power spells without any kind of problems. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this. The Rogan cans. I'm going to move myself away to right about there. Okay. And let's uh let's cast a little magic here at number four. We're just gonna go straight damage. So three d six. Okay. So roll your arcana so plus your intelligence, and he's gonna get to roll the dodge. Yep. Images are loaded for you guys. me so. quickly. It's probably gonna get his uh, gonna get his wish. I just I'm here to please. So. Wow. Wow. What'd you get? Terrible numbers. Oh, Ter- five. Uh, let's see. Shit. Nah. Uh, he, your fireball zips past and off into the chemical wasteland and probably yep. ignites a huge freaking cloud of methane, so there's a nice big explosion behind you guys. <sighs> That's disappointing. I'm disappointed. You still have two more actions. You had one job, man. <laughs> well, the... <laughs> Round two, fight! <laughs> oh my god! Come at me, bro! So that's, uh, uh, what was it? How many actions does it take to fling one of those things? Two, currently. Okay. okay. Yes, yeah, it says under combat actions that it's by spell, it, and I don't see anything. Yeah, spells. yeah, we. Again. It's general. It, and attack actions too, unless otherwise specified. The problem right. is that the book, the way it says, is Arcana varies by spell. It's literally yeah. what we wrote. So. Gotcha. All right. So. It is. Roll it again, I guess. I did. Okay. For a seven. Wait on you. My apologies. I will fix that. It's all good. God ram it. Okay, so Neo, the bandit, apparently <laughs> is. Is slightly terrified by the fact that fire is flinging through him, and he's just basically ducking and diving, reconsidering his attack. So, uh, <laughs> number four is going to peel off and start heading towards you. Um, all right, so that moves us on to the next person in the combat round. Okay, which... uh, one and two are clear of friendlies, right? That is correct. Uh... They're still they're literally like rounding over the top. Seeing oh, what seven. they're running into and completely regretting what they're doing. So I'm going to roll an evade for both of those guys. Uh, both of them get hit because ties go towards the player. Um, so, okay. Uh, damage against both, please. One damage roll and let's see how much you get cooked. Did you take out the supercharged shot talent? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. That's okay, though. No? Uh, I, I kind of like that idea. You just basically pump a bunch more gas into the shot and then 3d6 fire yeah, exactly. yeah. down. Alright, carry on. So tell me what you're doing. Uh, what are you actually using? Flamethrower. The, the flamethrower? Okay. Yep. So they are both taking... What is that? One and two? One and two. Yep. And if they oh, actually now both take on... any damage, they uh, are set oh. on fire. They are on oh, fire, that. so uh, that is going to be an immediate d6 extra, 2 and 2. Alright, so that is going to be, uh, let me see, you rolled a 7, so 4, uh, 6 and 6, and on fire. Okay, some life and choices are being reassessed immediately. Uh, 4 and 5, is anyone in those areas? Friendly um, wise, no. Okay, turning and hitting them. Okay, I'm trying to at least. Oh, you're a monster. Is there a penalty for taking a second attack sh- attack action within a turn? Not currently. No. Nope. Okay. Just only when you dual wield. Hey. Uh, except for yeah, dual wielding. If you, yeah. but basically that's when you use the dual wield attack, which saves that's you on when actions. I attach a gun to my other hand. So that saves you. That saves you an action because, from what I understand, just to talk a bit about mechanics, then the standard attack is two, a dual wield attack action is three, but you only get five action points a turn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. what would be the? It's point? more efficient to have to dual wield, but but it you isn't because you're you can... you're you're missing out on the actual hit. One. Well, I mean, I, I suppose you get like two act, two action points, but I mean the, it's the gonna be situational. 
So yeah. let's say you need the two actions to move closer to your enemies because you are a melee fighter. Um, you have that situation. Um, there's also the fact that you can increase the amount of actions you have. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you basically you get three potential attacks versus two. True. Albeit two of them are at a penalty because it's a dual wield. Right. Yep. Player images should be uploaded to you guys now, by the way. Cool. So just drag and, drag and drop into your browser window and it should upload on its own. You'll just have to resize it. Uh, those actually just send you to links. So open it in a new tab. Yeah. Then drag save it. Then drag and drop. Because otherwise it's just going to keep Oh, resending. if you're using an old version of Skype, yeah, that's what it'll do. Damn it. Just keeps doing that. <laughs> What's right. up? And thanks again to Fenrir Wolflord for pointing out how to get minis uploaded. I feel like we should know this, but we haven't used Roll20 in a while. <laughs> uh, so four is going to take some damage. Five manages to duck out the way. So roll your damage again for, for Bandit 4. Okie dokie. And he takes an additional three for being on fire. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so he is actually on fire too. Okay. Uh, yeah, by my count, there's nothing. one more person. I believe it is the Me. Shade Hunter that yeah. needs to take that Nope. Okay, I'm pretty sure we killed a bunch of people. Who isn't dead? <laughs> uh, uh, dead. Uh, everyone is still alive. The bandits are oh, yep. still alive. A couple My of bad. them were on fire. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot, uh, fire my uh, bow and arrow at uh, I Hate Living number three. Um, okay. <laughs> wow. He's certainly going to hate living, that's for sure. And let me get my roll together here. Who's carrying the girl, by the way? I dropped her. So <laughs> she... <laughs> I did. I dropped her. So she should be right about here. Okie dokie. Ah. Damn. Thought it would let me do that. Apparently not. Right. Uh, there's a nine. There you go. He takes an arrow to the face. Oh. Yes. I was, shooting for, damage. I was shooting for the knee. Oh, that works too. <laughs> his, his adventuring days are over. <laughs> oh, no. He becomes a guard in Skyrim. All right, so. He plus row failed. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, go ahead, roll your damage. Yep. I'm typing up all my rolls in another in a notepad, so I can just paste and go. Go ahead, Chip. Holy shit, bags. Um, okay, so that's... Oh, I wait a second. Three, right? Wait a second, hold on. You ruining your rolls again. Yeah, I am. Well, he. What was you had in the character sheet? A something in parentheses in the damage. Uh, that's for when you were attacking from stealth. Ah, okay. I couldn't tell. That's what that was. Okay, my bad. Yeah, it's well, under, then it's under the talents. Uh, so I've already put it on there. Yeah, I see that. I didn't realize that that was that. Okay. Um. So remove the five. So okay. I just did six. So six. Yeah, okay. my bad. Uh, not so damaging. He takes a pretty nasty nick to the leg. Ah, okay. Uh, I think you guys aren't putting really out enough damage to... 
Well, I did my damage wrong. That would require hitting things for me to put out damage. So. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm All gonna right. I'm gonna go ahead and make another attack action. This time, I'm gonna fire my revolver. Um, okay. Ho hopefully, this does a little bit better for me. <laughs> Um, okay, you are going to be out of AP because it's going to take you one AP to draw. That's fine. Level. Okay. Oh yes. Check out that shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's taking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh dang. Here's a question for you then. Yeah. Hmm. So let's say you roll a number, like uh, this guy's only got like a D10 to dodge, right? Like dodge a blow, mm -hmm. but if you guys are rolling like a thirteen, he can't possibly make a thirteen. So does like a natural roll of a ten cause an explodey, or do we just not bother? Like, is there no point in rolling if you can't be avoided? What's the what is the incentive to roll if he cannot beat the number? There nothing. There is isn't one. It saves that time. usually. Yeah. Okay. Because normally, normally some game mechanics have like a like an explodey or like a critical success chance if they roll max number on the dice. But if that doesn't exist in that game, so it's basically if you if you roll a number on the attack over what they could possibly roll as a defense, is that basically an auto hit then? Basically, yeah. And that's usually the time where the the GM makes interesting things happen. Okay. It's like they there's no the attack or whatever the instance was was so good or awesome. It's They're totally no unavoidable. Okay, so uh, roll your damage, please, sir. Uh, one second. I... I did. Yes, sir. Oh, you did? Yep. Oh, perfect. Is somebody uh, answering, that... or should I answer? That is a... Answering. Uh, Twitch? I don't know, I hear Cody... I, got it. I hear Cody typing like a madman, so... I wasn't sure if he was... I'm one that... sentence. For that roll, it's going to bypass his DR, which Set means mechanical that it's keyboard. going to wiping out. Okay. Yeah, you basically put a bullet round through his eye, oh, and it, popcorn delivery. his head turns into what used to be a skull into a soup bowl. Awesome. So, Co Cody, do you want the skull soup? Mmm, delicious jelly. Cerebral jelly. Mm. That is a big fat wipeout right there. Thanks, Conrad. Yep. All right, you got it. That makes it now their turn, as I believe. Oh, balls. Ah, uh, yep. All right, so, um, guys, I think we're gonna get a few paper cuts. Just saying. Well, let me let me immediately roll the. Uh, I'm going to do collective fire damage to all of yeah, them. Yeah, bro, I got this. <laughs> Fair enough. So it's going to be a... Got the tower shield. Shit bags. Um, and I five, okay, so Fife basically looks horrified as his buddies start to burn alive. <laughs> um, or get eaten. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah. Six, well, six is still going, so let's start with six. Six um, decides to introduce you to uh, his basic form of surgery at the end of a rusty sword. Um, <laughs> so the ellipse is going to go... And take, let's see, what's his role? He is... Freaking ridiculous. He's rolling this to hit. Oh, uh, I auto succeed. So I roll okay. two dice. Okay, he he fumbles and basically drops his sword. Um, <laughs> I did because, terrible. But... Because because you're chomping down on his neck and he's not quite sure how to psychologically react to that. There's a spear in him and he's, he's being eaten. He's he's never really been eaten before, so it's a new experience for him. It's kind of his first time. Um. <laughs> Five at the top is seeing that his friend's oh, getting he, munched on oh, and his other one's getting burned alive. Um, let's see. Uh, odds it's going to be the Elites, even it's going to be the Enkindled. 
So the reading Kindles is going to get um, uh, a trigger I don't want shot. It. I don't want it. Well, that's what's going to happen. So I don't want it. Roll the dodge a seven, please, sir. Uh, balls. Okay, so you he are taking... Shot. No, I need to find that... Oh, uh, 2d20? Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Oh, <laughs> 12. Not a bad wow. day. 12, 12 points of damage, sir. So, right. so much so much power we had to pull a dice out of D&D &D to even <laughs> roll the damage. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was not as expected. So. Uh, let's see. So your DR, I believe, uh, the... Five. Oh, yeah. So it's going to put you down to... Seven points of damage. Yep. He hit you with the seven four seven. A. Hey. You're cute. Really? No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you guys have a lot of HP in comparison to these guys. Well, there's also more of them. For now. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm, I'm not eating. I'm not done eating you yet. I might, I might have to be nastier. Okay, so um, let's see. Being set on fire is a pretty good reason to pop a resolve check, I think. Uh, so one manages to duck and roll. Two freaks out. Uh, <laughs> four freaks out. So one is going to duck and roll. Two is going to start running away um, in that direction. And then four uh, is going to run at the drone. Um, Can we ask him politely to start? No. Um, oh. So <laughs> a burning, dying man is coming at you with a blade. Hmm. So let's let's go with that. Um, he is going to take a charge and then a swing at you. So it's going to be two attacks on you. Uh, first attack is a two. Is there any chance of you no. getting hit? Okay, second well, one is Well, actually, him. yes, because I'm blocking. He could still do damage. Okay, so... It's basically an auto hit, but... You're, you're, so you're just basically doing the additional DR? Yeah. Okay. Huh. So With the floor, I get an extra two. Yeah. Yeah, so he's... Okay. So there's, there's two attacks that he's doing. Um, okay. The other one was three? Yeah, the other one's three. Okay, so I get a two and a four extra. Okay, so he's going to be doing with that blade. Uh, he's going to be doing. One, six, plus three. The first attack is going to be nine points of damage, which I believe with your four is going to give you a DR. What's your DR as the drone? Uh, three toughness, three block, five tower shield, and two armor. What'd you get a tower shield for? Because Walking. I start with armor. Yo, you don't start with a tower shield. I bought one. With what money? The starting. No, the, I thought I thought he said we didn't the, have the, any. You didn't. the The equipment. Oh, I thought you said equipment. that you started with. The normal, and then we only had. No, no, no. The the equipment that was given to your character was what was bought with your starting cash. Oh, okay. Smooth. Good job, man. You're, <laughs> you're a dev, and you're playing like a noob. What is this? It's four hundred pages. A twinky noob at that. <laughs> That's four hundred more. Uh, well, well, no, uh, it isn't. But it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> It's, you, uh, it's actually, it's actually taking hell more cash damage. for a new character is 500. Yeah, uh, that's barely it's... enough to get level two armor. So what I did is I started everybody well, with equipment that was up to. Drones start there. with level two armor. That's right, and that's why he, he was able to afford a hand axe, a flamethrower, and a shotgun. Gotcha. And then whatever was left over got taken off in equipment. And... Okay, so fire. Uh... Six, he didn't seven. have a shield last time I, uh, when I when I put together the sheet. He didn't have a shield. Well, okay. The armor, the toughness, and the block puts it at uh, eight, and then two for the 
the first one and four for the second. Okay. So ten and uh, twelve dr. Okay. So ten and twelve, so that's nine <sighs> and nine. Um, so he's basically not doing through any. He does no damage. This fiery sword just clinks off of your armor. Yay. Clink, clink. So what I'm immediately seeing is I think that the enemies in this game need to start putting out more damage. So <laughs> my later encounters for you guys are going to get a small buff. I write that down just to be sure. As soon as combat ends, roll initiative. You're fighting six angels. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, oh, dead. You use blood. Throw sand in their deck. <laughs> throw sand at their eyes. <laughs> All right. So um, that moves us on to. I believe everybody has everybody on the enemy team taken to go. Yes. Two is running off. One is ducking and rolling to put himself out. Um. And then this one's just attacked. That one's. On fire uh, and I'm six fire. eaten. So let's uh, let's carry on. It's your guys' turn again. Woo! <laughs> well, I'm gonna just keep on eating this dude. Okay. I've had it. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not even grappling him. I'm just like taking chunks out of him. <laughs> well, he's trying to he's trying to flap against you right now because he's dropped his sword and you just keep taking chunks out of him. So. He, could, he could be a badass and pull my spear out of his side and try and fight me with it. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do another resolve check for him. He's not doing shit. Could have grow? Yeah. Uh, rolling a 1 on his resolve check means that... Cut out. Uh oh. No, no, no. We've lost our GM due to connectile dysfunction. Oh, no, I'm here. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I just realized I was muted because I was chewing on Miniacs. Um, uh, yeah, you basically... Uh, he rolls a 1 on his resolve roll uh, as you eat him, so he's freaking out right now. He's not even thinking about the spear lodged in him. Um, he's just kind of flapping against you. All right. So uh, go ahead and roll your uh, your bite attack. <laughs> Swiggity spookity. <laughs> All right, hand to hand. <laughs> My face. Face to hand. <laughs> face to foot style. How do you like it? Jesus. All right. Just damage. Yeah. God, my rolls are crappy. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, here you go. And Ghetto Creek. <laughs> no, no. And guess what? I do this again. Alright, roll it again. Oh, that's not good. Alright, that's so a five. Hey. Let's see what he rolls. No. Yeah, he's he's managed to, like, slap you around the side of the face as you go in for the second bite, but the, uh,. The first one does some pretty heinous damage to him. Um, <laughs> he's he's not looking very happy. He's bleeding quite quite profusely. So much for illusions. Yeah. <laughs> Shh, everything's okay. You're not dying from my face. Next. Lost. Who's up next? <laughs> Oh, okay. He must have stepped away. Um, well, Conrad, if you want to go, wait. Who? You're Cody's. Cody's. Popcorn. Cody's done. Go, go, so go! Kill things. Want to go? Go. Okay. With I'm... the uh, acquisition of a uh, newly found shotgun on my pack, mm -hmm. shotting somebody in the face. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming number one is still around. Number and one is fire. in the middle of putting himself out. You do currently have... You're in melee combat with uh, a guy that's on fire right now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, my melee kind of Kill sucks. Me Quickly number four is currently trying to wail on you with a sword Actually, while he's um, I'm going to just walk away from him <laughs> and shoot 
and then shoot him so I'm not in melee. Disengaging from combat takes five action points. Oh, from, no, from combat or from... Well, that's, isn't that what you're trying to do? You're trying to disengage from him, right? Because he's... he's there is no way in hell he is going to let you just walk away. Hmm. That that's eh. that's why that's why things like attacks of opportunity are, are, are around in combat. I mean, that to me, that's the whole reason like being a range person shouldn't really get up close unless they really have to. Like in in any kind of warfare, if you're if you're in if you're in hand to hand combat, someone and you're armed with just range weaponry, um, you need to be able to tank it or be able to get out of there pretty quickly. Good point. So otherwise I'm going to rule that he's going to take a free shot on you if you try and walk away from him. Alright, I'll just... Yeah, you know what, I'll take the penalty and shoot him in the face. Okay, sounds good. Uh, what is that, a negative... What is the penalty for shooting him in melee? Uh, it is minus four. Shooting into melee is minus four, I believe. He says, going through his playtest. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Where are we? Oh, God. Fail. <laughs> That's a minus one? <laughs> yeah. Crap. All right. Your and... shot. Well, I can do it one more time. Uh, well, your shotgun is jammed. Oh, the shell, shit. The shell lodges in the breach, and there's this kind of, like, horrible kind of sound from the firing mechanism. Looks like that shell you might have looted from those dead guys might have been a little bit waterlogged. Hmm. You can try and well, bash him. Uh, there's always the fallback of the... Is there anybody behind him? Uh, no. Okay. Well, fall back to the flamethrower. Okay. Dip and burn. He's still at minus four. Yep. Much better. So he basically put the nozzle of your flamethrower in his mouth and just pulled the trigger. <laughs> Let's see how he does. Oh, shit. But he manages to get out of the way. So, yeah, he, he manages <laughs> What to... is with this guy? He manages to duck underneath the nozzle as uh, he, he loses some hair. <laughs> Well then, um, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, then. moving on to whoever wants to go next, I guess. Trigger or uh, um. I guess I'll give it a shot. There we go. Not that my magic's getting me anywhere, but we'll try this again. Roll it. Shoot All right. The guy well. fighting me in melee. So I can burn things. You are okay. at minus four for shooting into melee again, though. Mm. Worst thing that ha happens is you hit me. <laughs> uh, hey, don't. Wait, you're, you're using fire, right? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, just I'm just wondering. <laughs> Phone red. Yep. Touch him in melee. Make a melee attack. So then you get that extra, you can just, 3d6. No penalty for touching in melee combat, it's engaging in melee combat. That's true. Poke him. to move. The, uh, give yeah, but you have five actions, so you take one yeah. action to move, and then you just touch him twice. Alright. Like, poke, move. and you're dead. As you step right. over the, the, that's my, over that's the my... body of a child. That's just fine. As long as she's not like on fire, it's we're cool. keeping her warm. You know, she's she's fine. She's yeah, the, just, the, she's the gonna drone, wake up to the this carnage. Spewing liquid fire everywhere is just, nice. anyways, she's she's highly gonna, flammable clothing she's wearing. She's gonna. Oh, and up. I get a plus one now since this man is outnumbered. So that's true. I'll throw that in there and roll it. Uh, oh, uh, that's a number I can get behind. That is gonna be a career success on your first hit because he can't. Uh, roll to avoid, so uh, roll your damage and let's see what happens. Uh, let's just make that a flat 3d6 then. <laughs> uh, well said, well floored. 
Nah, you know what? We're gonna spend an overcast point on this bad boy. Let's make it 46. 46. And that last die was useless. Okay. 16 right. versus a man who has one hit point left. <laughs> um, there's, this, there's this kind of wet popping sensation. As uh, it, you, you, what, what kind of element were you hitting him with? Like a giant zit, basically. Fire. Just for fun. Fire. Yep. Everyone basically, likes fire. You, you boil his insides and he just explodes into this massive goop. Um, nice. Hey, Bear, Everybody... one of our one of our fine uh, viewers and backers uh, up here on Twitch uh, suggested that you could be bribed with honey. Is that is that legit? Ooh. It isn't. Um, oh. I am only bribed with steak, I'm afraid. I'm more of a... Okay, I'm fair enough. Oak yak bear than I am a Whiskey? honey bear. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> a good trout, maybe. Some okay. salmon. Whatever's good. All, All right, right, um... So let's, uh, okay, so Kill Me Quickly number four has turned into what is essentially a blood zit and popped. <laughs> um, oh, that's wonderful. I love the imagery. So, so he's a fiery dead mess. Um, let's see, who's up next? Uh, I think that just leaves the shade, right? Yeah, who's who's left that didn't, didn't turn into a zit and blow up? Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, anybody who is not the Primal Thurge, please roll a Resolve check for me. Oh, dang, son. Because watching a person explode into a blood zit is it's fine. horrific. It's fine. I'm like I am eating a dude. I am assigning a difficulty of... I'm going to let the Ellipse ignore this because the Ellipse is currently chewing on someone. <laughs> um... But anybody else who is alive currently, which three people of the enemy team are, wow! Uh, oh man! Yes, this is awesome. Okay, so um, number one is actually going to die from burning because uh, he's on fire. He's got one hit point left, so he's actually dead um, as of next turn. But uh, how about uh, let's let's have Trigger do the their action first. Uh, the only person that's really up and running still is number five, who's taken no damage whatsoever. Oh wow! Oh, I still We've... have two actions, so. Oh well, if you got oh, something, you go. do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, rolling. There we go. Can't These are numbers it. I can get. So roll your damage. Uh, we're going to overcast again, just one point. I think oh. I'm going to house rule that if you're going to overcast it, you have to decide how much SP you're putting into a spell before you roll to hit. I think that is That's how it's call. supposed to work. I think, it's probably how it's supposed I to think, go. I think Conrad's cheating. Yeah, I'm cheating. You caught to, me. To be fair, though, it wouldn't have changed anything, but yeah, that is correct. But no, well, let's put it this way: If you say I'm going to overcast three points into this spell and you miss, then yeah, no, it's supposed to be that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to, still supposed to take those hits, regardless. Slap on the wrist for you. Sir. Slap on the wrist for me. I just got so excited about my my rolls. Okay, well, he's actually now, there's this kind of like a envelopment of fire, and he comes out and he's uh, you didn't uh, you did straight damage, right? Yep. Yeah, so he's not on fire. He just takes it from basically blast and impact damage. So he's he's looking worse for wear, but he's not on fire. <laughs> we're being um, we're being okay. told to use blind, by the way. Um, Shade. All right. I'm yes. the boss. Uh, revolver. Let's do it. Okay. Click clunk. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. Revolver ocelot. Yes. <laughs> hey, Ocelot. Revolver Ocelot. What? The Lale Lule Lo? Um. <laughs> Fucking series of games. <laughs> Freaking Kojima.
Oh, I see someone will get me steak and salmon if reinforcements show up. <laughs> nice. I mean, all right. What's up? Oh, honey glaze. Salmon. Okay. Damn, that does sound good. <laughs> so, did I hit him? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yes, you do. Yes. You managed to revolve an ocelot your way to victory. Uh, he is going to take. Six. Who are you shooting? Because all that's left now is two, five, five, and six. I'm shooting at five. Six is getting chewed on by the ellipse. Sh shooting five. at five, sorry. I just got pegged. Okay, um, so he is taking... He is on his last legs. He looks a bit worse for wear. You just uh, you put a bullet through his gut and he just kind of... He looks like he's kind of stumbling. He looks like he's about <laughs> to maybe considering a retreat. No, no. No I'm, retreat. We're, hun we're no hunting retreat. down the ones that ran away, too. Okay. Oh yeah, no, they're not leaving. No one, they no one survives. <laughs> like, I will hunt you down and beat you to death with yeah. the head of your buddy. Just, just for the fun of it, I'm just gonna shoot him again. Okay. <laughs> for the fun of it. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, why not? Cool. Uh, he can't beat it because uh, ties go in favor of the player. So. Yeah, that is enough to take him down. Bam! One in the neck. He just falls backwards with a big open wound in his throat. Okay. That returns us back to their turn. Um, I'm going to keep on uh, their turn, right? <laughs> six. Enjoy. Number six. Hmm. I'm Let trying to bite his head off. Well, you get the impression that number six might be slightly insane. Stepping away for just a second, guys. Alrighty. No, that's so, cool. Just run away. Run away, Zip. Run away from your problems. So, number six. Um, the guy that wasn't screaming, kill me quickly, no, that's isn't cool. insane. And he isn't dying. He is insane? What? No, nah, he's, just, he's just mildly disturbed. Number six has just had like five chunks taken him out of him by some weird snake creature. And he uh, still has a spear in him. And he's still got a spear in him. So he he is apparently under the impression that he's about to get eaten. So yeah, he's decided exactly. he doesn't want to go out that way. He wants to go out on his own terms. No. So no. He, he reaches into his pocket and you see this, uh, what appears to be uh, some sort of alchemical glass vial. Oh, boss. Uh, which he crushes in his hand. Ooh. And there's a, a kind of a brief flicker of light before there's a boom. This big bassy thump of green fire. Uh, so let's see. I will let you roll an agility plus dodge to uh, stop chewing on this guy enough to make a decent evade. All right. Okay, Yeah, I'm actually not grappled. I'm not holding him down or petting him. I'm just no, you're like just running away. Ah, well, ah. It's it's basically blast area. So this is more to see if you can escape the blast area. Ooh. I am going to roll two d six. Um, if you beat the roll, you manage to get away scot three. If you don't, you're taking damage. Huzzah. You manage to get away. Uh, you basically you, you hit the dirt as this kind of Boom, big uh, fireball of green fire just envelops him and, and fires off into the sky. Hmm. Um, so that's him. Number six is dead. Is two still on fire? No, two is... Um... No, two was on fire, you're right. <laughs> and running away. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he runs away and before he can get too far, he burns to death. I was going to say, because I'm pretty sure at this point that's that's, that's definitely dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He's gone dead. So, congratulations. You have defeated your first bandit raid. Yay! I get my <laughs> spear back. Uh, that spear is obliterated. It's no more. Alrighty. Okay. Also, I just noted you called it a spear that was statted out as a javelin. Oh, did I really? Yeah. Uh, uh, change the stats to a spear then. I probably. Then I did a lot more damage sooner. Um, if I if I do the um, 
It would make sense to have a javelin. No, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna. What I'm probably gonna do for, because I edited the character sheet, I might actually do a drop down for each of those boxes, and then just you pick the weapon and it will pre-populate the stats and the abilities and in the damage and range. Um. All right, this is totally appropriate. Everyone should click that link. Which link? Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. A little background music for you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sponsored by Final Fantasy. All right, so um, nice little encounter there. That gives me a good impression about how I should spec out my grunts later on. Um, uh, as the rules say, uh, if one of you has the medicine skill, you are all healed up. If one of you does not have the medicine skill, then you do not. Bummer. Oh, shit, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find that your nope. Now your ellipse doesn't. How about your drone? Nope. Your shade has one rank in medicine. Success. Okay, so you spend a good couple of hours getting patched up, um, but you are kind of low on uh, right. supplies. So Was I'm there anything say... on them that wasn't burned? All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. <laughs> oh, we just figured out that uh, you, you managed to patch up the uh, the people. Um, anybody who died by fire is completely incinerated. Um, their clothing and stuff is all gone. There's very little in the way of surviving equipment. Ooh. The spear is gone. Um, the only person that didn't die by burning, I believe, is... Number five. Number five, yeah. And he had. I think uh, number. F I, th I think number four didn't either. I yeah. ended up shooting oh, him in right. the face no, he, too. He took, yeah. So between those two, so number four had a sword on him. I'm going to confiscate that. Okie dokie. Uh, number five had a trigun. All right. I don't. All right. Rounds. How many rounds? Uh. Let's see. Yeah. Six rounds. Like one. One full clip and then one reload. Split them up, Conrad. Yes, please. Alrighty, so we get three apiece. Uh, you also find a combination Chess. of about forty notes. Does it look there like any been of more them had if any they like fire. survival equipment or supplies? Uh, yeah, you can see there is. Uh, you, well, maybe like a day's worth of rations. Uh, hmm. You get the impression that they're probably locals. Yeah, I was gonna say because if they didn't, then they're probably closer. Yeah, they're 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 locals. The, you can tell that these guys, and you, and just by pulling off the, the the masks and stuff, you can see that they appear to come from like farmer stock. You know, they're pretty, you know, people with well calloused hands. You know, the occasional scarf. Their from... first bandit raid. Yeah, <laughs> their <laughs> last success. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Great job, guys. We all died in fire. So, would it be like reasonable to assume these are villagers or people of the village we're heading to? Um. You don't know. Um, there is only one large village in the area, but uh, you know, all all they could have fairly sizable. Or... Yeah, you could have a camp. It could all fairly sizable. You know, um, settlements have their um, bandit. Yeah, they're they're kind of communities of of less legally responsible people. Um, I'll say, so, if it was, I'm bringing the head of one of them. And these are the less legally responsible ones. Damn. <laughs> what are we? <laughs> well, you were considering torching a small child. And I did eat a significant portion of that dude's shoulder. That is true. He didn't he eat tasted, it. He tasted like farmer stock. <laughs> he tasted he's like... Very, he's very wiry and, you know, tough, and it wasn't very tasty at all. So... Uh, so what's the plan? You guys heading towards the village? You said you're taking one of their heads. Uh, no. What what kind of... They have, like, armor on them? The um, ones that aren't dead? They're nothing better than what you've got. It's, I have clothes. Yeah, they're, they're armed. They're, they're basically armed in the same thing. It's just, you know... Um, I don't even have leather clothes. I just have clothes. Well, they you know, they're reinforced clothes. It's, it's basically armor one stuff. Okay. Yeah, they're not very... Light leathers, if you will. Yes. That is correct. Alright, so this character will for always attempt to eat some portion of every 
the encounter we have. And this is why the Ellipse are looked upon with fear and caution. Uh, I mean, the insanity thing, I've got to play that up. Wait, your insanity is, is that you are a homophage. Hmm? <laughs> you eat people. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Public education here is who you're talking to. Sounds good. I like it. It adds flavor to your character, so to speak. Yeah. Um, <laughs> flavor. I think, I think this is a good moment to take like a five-minute bio break if anybody needs to. I'll just do another uh, cancer worship. Okay. So, so uh, I'm going to go grab a drink. Right, this calls drink. for a Washington apple. <laughs> I'll get a, I think I'm oh. going to go grab an angry orchard. So. Mm. Uh, five Atta boy. Oh, damn you guys. I don't have any of that. Uh, if you want to come on over, I've got enough cranberry for the both of us. I'll make you a drink. I'll make me a drink. Oh, my vanilla Coke is gone. Sad day. Sad day. Guess I'm going to go see what the people in the stream are saying. <laughs> you've, been missing some, you've been missing some very entertaining conversation. <laughs> oh, I bet I have. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. Oh, where did I post last? Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. There's been some talk. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Better than rats in a basement. Damn right. <laughs> Spiders with rockets. <laughs> Bacon Avenger. Uh, homophage, that's the opposite of Chick fil A. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, yes. M Messiah understands. He understands. No vanilla Coke is a sad day. That's right, Bacon Avenger. <laughs> I'm blaming my roommate. He likes to drink my vanilla coke. That's okay though. We share everything. We share everything except women. Before anybody jumps there, because I know, I know you people. <laughs> Shout out to Big Mage USA if you're here. Thanks for backing. Yeah, I guess since the other guys walked away. Do you guys have any questions since we're taking a little break here? We can maybe field some some things. Yeah, Fenrir, I had to grab a normal because I'm out of the vanilla, so. It's still good, but it's it's not vanilla. Remember, Conrad, there is a slight lag on ours versus the what they're typing. Oh, there we go. Uh, my day was good, I guess. Uh, had crazy stuff to do for my wedding that's coming up in August, so that's what uh, kept me from getting all the stuff set up sooner. Oh, no. 